So, hello again. This front and that side are going to be anchored with roll bolts, steel roll bolts, and heavy duty steel brackets to the flags. At the back, however, we've got soil. So, aim to do here is to drive in ground stakes. Just, it's not going to go anywhere, but it's just in case. Into here, using the mallet. The difference is I want a hole through here to drive this in to get a proper hook on it. So So these are rebar hooks, 12 inches long from Mr. Webos's website. Time for a shift clear up. Bolts are going. I'll use this as a rubbish bag.
I was just checking out. And I think... It's a little better organised now than it was. Some space here for the boards that are coming. And that should be alright for now. A selection of bulbs to put in. Now I did read you should put them in twice as deep as the bulb is high. So you see we've got these. And we have daffodil narcissus. Let's go and pop them in. So we've uh, cut back the black currant bush, done some weeding along here, put some bulbs in. Later, I've put some bulbs in this spot, been digging the roots out for a long time. Now the interesting thing, I believe that these slabs are actually a land drain that goes down all the way out and it goes all the way up. So it might need lifting and inspecting. The cost of timber sheeting is through the roof. Fortunately, thanks to Facebook, I was able to get 14 of these, about 1.2 meters square. Waterproof ply, good thickness, six pound a sheet.